morning guys, how are you doing? Here's a new arrival that I've just had delivered and it's a 200mm pipe. The reason I just went with 150 is the, the biggest I thought I could actually get the rubber fitness for but I recently found a company that's doing absolutely all the sizes of rubber fit, fitness you can think of and up there now on the top there you can see a massive 200mm to 110 so I'll make this one exactly the same as I made the other one um, if you want to see how I did that watch my previous video on how to make a hook filter and as you can see these things are massive but I'll make it in exactly the same way and um, we'll see if it makes any difference having a much bigger filter in place the other thing I thought I would mention today I don't know if how many of you know about them but is Uniseals I mean I'm sure some of you have heard about them and maybe there's a lot of you but for those who don't know there's a couple of different uni seals what are uni seals well they're great if you've got a curved surface that you want to put a pipe into so for example a curved surface there with the 200 millimetre pipe and you want to put say an air pipe into it what you do is you look at uniseals they come in a lot of different sizes and what they do is they tell you the size to drill the hole for in this case I think it's an 8 millimetre hole you then plug that through the 8 millimetre hole then you get pipe that you're going to put in which in this case would be a six millimeter air pipe and you push it through and the, the act of pushing it through actually squeezes the unit seal out and causes a seal so no water comes out so they do it in lots of different sizes and there's a one for a half inch pipe and that like I say is for six millimeter and I've got one I can show you outside on the pond where I've used it for a two inch pipe so actually you can get it as big as two inch pipe I think they do them even bigger um, I'll put up the chart on the screen here and you can see exactly what sizes they do if you look at the chart it shows you what drill size you need it shows the outside and inside diameter of the pipe that you're going to use and um, everything that you need really to buy them um, I used to just get them off eBay um, I think there's a guy I think in Scotland that imports them because they actually come from the US and he imports them, a uh, nice guy and um, they're very very reasonable I mean the smallest one here is 99p that includes the postage just for free postage I think something like that one is a little bit more expensive maybe it's 3.99 I'm not sure and the two inch I think is about 4.99 but that includes like I said postage and um, all you've got to do is go on to eBay and type in Uniseals or type Uniseals into any search engine and it'll probably get you there anyway let's go and have a look at the, the two inch one I put the two inch one into a four inch pipe so you can see how that works there you go that's the two inch uniseal going into a four inch pipe and it works great seals it up perfectly so if you're thinking about putting a pipe into another pipe and it's, it's or any rounded surface could be a, a drum something like that um, one of these big containers if it's round and you can't get a bulkhead to seal on it uniseal that's what you need they'll do the job for you 
just get the right size for the pipe and um, all you have to do is push it in. When you push it in you probably need a little bit of um, something to make it slide in like Vaseline or something like that that you put on it to get it to slide through the hole because it's quite usually quite tight and that's what actually usually forms the seal and makes it that much better. Here's another example of a uniseal. This uniseal was used to get one inch pressure pipe into a four inch pipe. It's used by the flushing pump in the drum filter. It takes the water from the after the water's gone through the drum filter and the flushing pump uses that clean water to clean the drum. You can see the bits of Vaseline on the end of the pipe that was used to let help it slide through the uniseal. Here is a list of all the different uniseals that you can get from 3 16th of an inch right up to 4 inch. The other big change I've got is in the filter room. My AEM drum is gone and being replaced with an Oase Coffee Clear Compact filter and that is absolutely amazing so far it's been great it took a little bit of setting up trying to understand exactly how it actually set it up but once that was done it's been working absolutely brilliantly very very easy very very easy to use and um, at the minute it's just coming out going to the pump air source heat pump and then back out into the pond turn that pipe um, I've also got the skimmer line on so you see the skimmer line over there with the top filter on it that goes up over the top down through the battery shower and back into the pond there's the wazir control box very very easy to use very very simple pond temperature at the moment 18.4 nice and toasty for them even though it's still outside they keep warm and I've got another delivery as well another bag of K Plus Media if you remember in my previous video one of my previous videos um, the K Plus Media I had when I looked through it it had a lot of the plastic swarf in it so I reached out to EA and said you know that I wasn't very happy about that and could they replace it and they agreed um, so as I said I wasn't going to spend two or three hours of my life going through getting rid of all the the swarf when it wasn't really my fault so what they did was they said they'd replace it which is good of them I haven't checked it yet like I hope it hasn't got any plastic swarf in it but uh, they replaced it and also gave me a bottle of uh, filter gel as well which was very nice of them so big thank you to EA uh, good customer service it's nice to see um, really good customer service so I'm quite happy with that so we'll have to have a look at this Koi K Plus Media this new K Plus Media and see if we've got any swarf in that I mean coming directly from EA I would think they'll have checked it and know which batches have and haven't got swarf in and presumably this one will be clear have a look and see what it is I don't believe it I'm last 
plastic, smooth. And loads of it. No. Still getting the swath. I don't know how well you can see it there. But there's a fair bit of it there. That's just with the first little look at the stuff. So, so very strange. You'd think that they would have some bags, like I say, that they would send out that they would know didn't contain any swarf, but doesn't seem to be the case. So, now I've got two bags of swarf laden plastic media. Oh well. Let's get back to EA and see what they say about that. A big thank you to all my subscribers both new and old and if you haven't already please subscribe hit the like and ring the bell for getting all my future videos thanks guys mm -hmm.